Where'd you get this? <sighs> Where do you think? If I'm supposed to believe some detective came here to question you and he forgot his badge, I don't. Uh, that badge is mine. No, it's not. Actually, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Didn't anyone ever tell you that? Well, now this badge is in my possession, so how about an answer? Well, I know a guy who knows a guy who can get stuff like uh, fake IDs, passports, badges. If you like, I could, I could introduce you to him. Oh, no, thanks. I'm sure your guy knows my dad, so I'm covered. So what do you use it for? Uh, emergencies. And what qualifies as an emergency in your world? You know, say I'm uh, get caught in a raid, and uh, I gotta take out the badge and ID myself as an undercover cop. In the confusion of the bus, they usually take me at face value. That little beauty has saved my butt a few times. It's a good accessory to have. <laughs> that is the biggest crock I've ever heard. You know, are you gonna steal my wallet too? Because I'd love to chase you, but I'm just not up for it right this, now. This, this badge is not a prop that you picked up from some guy. I know the real thing when I see it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give you one, one last chance to pretend that this never happened and then we can just drop the whole thing. Oh, well, you obviously don't know me very well because I don't let anything go. Okay, look, I know your brother's a cop. And I don't want to have to put you in a position where you're going to feel like Just you're compromising yourself. Yes, it is a real badge, and yes, it is stolen. Sevens? Go for it. No! Damn it. That's the first time I've said those words since I was nine. Hey, be grateful I am playing with you at all, considering I caught you cheating at Jen. It occurs to me you're not a very reliable person. No, say it ain't so. No, you steal from cops, right? And you cheat at cards. It actually shouldn't be a surprise considering what you do for a living. And yet, here you are, helpless in the face of my irresistible charm. Right, keep telling yourself that. I probably will. <laughs> so nice of you to text me back. Uh, excuse me, Lulu is administering to me in my time of need. Your brother needs you. You look fine to me. I meant Nicholas. I just came from Windermere, and he is a seriously strange fellow. Then maybe you should stop going to Windermere. Look, I don't give a damn if Nicholas sprouts wings and flies back to Transylvania or wherever the hell he's from. I'm worried about what he might do to others. <sighs> Nicholas offered me a million dollars to steal Rebecca from him. Wow. When do I get to meet your brother? Well, seriously, we, we can have a lot of fun with that much money. Hey, shut up. I'm worried about Rebecca. Like okay, I'm worried if Nicholas could do some damage to her. He's a basket case. Yeah, my brother has some issues. Maybe you could talk some sense into him. Well, maybe she could stay here and help me convalesce. God, you're taking this really lightly. You are blowing this out of proportion. Yeah, my brother has some issues, but he doesn't like people sticking their nose in it, and especially not his sister, which I can't blame him for. Okay. Okay. What if I tell you I need your help? For Rebecca. For me. Hmm. Let's settle this in a way that you might be able to understand, okay? How about um, if Dominic picks the high card, then I'll stay. And if I pick the high card, I will rush off and call Nicholas and see if there's anything I can do to help. Now don't I get a choice? No. Cut the cards. <laughs> a three. Fantastic. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hold on. Well, well, I guess Nicholas will just have to manage on his own. Bye. Tell me your theories. Everything you don't say. Is it a heart you're afraid to break? Well, baby, the truth is. Love is not for the faint. No matter how long it's gonna take